What's up, guys? It's your boy Chance, and I have something that I need to talk about. Something that has been boiling deep within my blood for the last four years. Something that has hurt me so deeply that it is mentally scarring. Something that is very, very hard for me to deal with. And that is, and that subject is, why me and my now former best friend of 15 years, Eric LaRue, are no longer friends. And what he did, you guys will understand why I'm calling him out. Now, if you guys don't know what happened, back in 2015, you know, me and my now ex-girlfriend Heather split up, but racked that me and my high school sweetheart, Christina and Keeley, got together. We dated each other on and all throughout high school. And, you know, in 2015, we got together and I actually proposed to her. We were supposed to get married and everything. You know, we were engaged. We were due to be married literally that next year. We were happy as hell together. Happy as ever. And some of you even saw the pictures of me and her together. You know, we were super happy. But what does Eric LaRue decide to do? He decides that being my best friend and brother isn't good enough. He wanted more. So what did he decide to do? When me and my girl get into a small fight, just a real small fight that we were actually going to, you know, work out. What does he do? He goes behind my back, manipulates her, and talks her into leaving me for him. Not because, you know, it's not because he cared about me. It's not because he gave a fuck about our friendship and that he wanted to help me get away from the bullshit. No. He always wanted everything I had. Being my best friend and brother wasn't good enough for you, was it, Eric? Being my best friend and my brother was never good enough for you. You always wanted everything I had. Everything I ever had, you always wanted. Why was being my best friend not good enough? Why, why instead of taking the girl that I was supposed to spend my life with, instead of taking her from me, why couldn't you just be happy for us? I don't understand. You know, and this is what really pisses me off. He sat right there in front of my entire family. My mom, my brother, everyone. And told me straight up to my face. Told me straight up to my face. That even though he liked her. He would not date her out of respect for me. Out of respect for me as a brother and as a friend. Even if we split he was not going to do it. But now, his word was never his bond. What did he do? The minute me and her got into a fight, he swooped in, broke mine and his friendship, threw that away for her, and took her from me. And ever since, because of you, Eric, I have been nothing except in one mentally and verbally abusive relationship after the other. Since 2015, it's been nothing but verbal and mental abusive relationships out of everyone that I get with. You couldn't handle the fact 
that I actually had somebody that my family actually liked. Somebody who was actually a little bit better looking than me, who actually wanted to be with me. Somebody I've known since my freshman year of high school. Somebody who I know better than anyone. But instead of being happy for us, what did you do? You broke our friendship and you stole her from me. And now because of you, I am forced to sit here every fucking day and see the remnants of what you caused. I am forced to look from the outside in at you and her when it should be me and her, not you and her. You think what you did to me was right? What you did to me was fair? See, what you don't realize is what you did to me hurt a lot more than that wasn't just some breakup. When you split me and her up, you split me and the love, my one, the one true love of my life up. The one person I actually wanted to spend the rest of my life with that my family actually liked. That day that you took her from me, you took everything. And now because of you, I'm left here rebuilding myself from the ground up, from all the mentally fucked up and verbally bullshitted abusive relationships that I've had to endure since then. Because of what you did to me, I have been verbally abused, I've been mentally abused, I've been shit on, I've been laughed at. But instead of being happy for me and being supportive like a good friend should, like I would have done for you, you had to go and get jealous. You let jealousy get the better of you, and you took the one person that meant the entire world to me. Do you have any idea what the fuck I've been through since then? Do you have any idea how hard it is for me to be with anybody because of the verbal and mental abuse that I've endured over the years because of what you've done to me and the shit that you caused? Because let me tell you something. When I was with Christina, I had everything. I had my life on track. I was doing shit that I needed to do. Hell, I was even actually looking for, surprisingly, a regular 9-to-5 job. Even though I wasn't getting anywhere, I was still looking. You know, I had everything. You know, I had a great career going for me. I had the girl in my dreams I've known since high school. I had everything going for me. And then what did you do? You tore it all down by stabbing me in the back and taking the one girl that meant everything to me. The one girl who knows me better than anyone on this, on the face of this fucking earth. Do you have any idea how gut-wrenching it is to sit here and see you two together with you blatantly mocking me in front of the whole fucking world laughing at me? And you wonder why I want to beat your ass so fucking bad? There's a reason, dude. There's a very legitimate reason. Because what you did to me is wrong on every motherfucking level. Not only morally, but emotionally, and just point out in general wrong. I would have never done half the shit that you've done to me, ever. I treated you like family since we were kids. And then what did you do to me? You turn around and you stab me in the back just because you got a little bit jealous and wanted what I had. You don't understand the pain, the hell that I've gone through since 2015. Do you have any idea how hard it's been for me? 
I have been emotionally abused, verbally abused, mentally abused by every girl that I get with ever since you decided to take the girl that I loved away from me. Every single one of them I got with has either mentally and verbally abused me or done something to put me down. And you think that what you did is right or fair? No. What you did is wrong, disgraceful, and disgusting. You manipulated her. And you and I both know it. No, no, Wolf, it's not the same one. It's someone different. This is somebody further back. This is somebody that I've known since high school. This is not Abby. You're thinking of Abby. That's not her. This is somebody entirely different. But for those of you that do know the situation and do know and are very well aware of what happened that day, you guys know exactly why even now Three years later, I'm still very much hurt by it. And you know, what I don't understand, Eric, is why the fuck you felt you had to take her from me. Why can't you just, be, like, honestly, dude, I would have been happy with you and whoever you got with. I really would have been happy for you. So why couldn't you do the same for me and be happy for me instead of taking the one girl that I loved? The only other person who made me happy, which Wolf is right, was Abby. But that didn't work out because of her family. And that's nobody's fault. That's not her fault or mine. That's, you know, on her family. But the one person that truly, truly above all made me the happiest in the world was Christina. And yet, what did you do? Despite our friendship, despite our brotherhood, de despite me treating you like family, despite my mom taking you in as one of her own, as an extension of our family, you betrayed me. You stabbed me in the back. And all for what? A girl? Do you think that what you did to me was fair? I never once would have done any of that to you. If you were with somebody that cute and hot, I would have been fucking happy as fuck for you. I really would have. I would have supported you. So I don't understand why couldn't you do the same? Instead of destroying our friendship and throwing it all away, why couldn't you do the same? Why couldn't you be happy for me and her instead of taking advantage of her and manipulating her and going and getting with her behind my back and saying fuck you to our friendship? Uh, Keely, that's K-E-E-L-Y or L-E-Y. I can't remember which. But if you look up Eric LaRue, um, you'll see who I'm talking about. And Sam, I will send you a picture as well. That way you can actually see. That way you know who I'm talking about. But, you know, I've been holding this in for three plus years. And honestly, it's hit its boiling point because I cannot take it anymore. I shouldn't have to sit here and watch you two be together because you want to fucking sit there and laugh at me because you wanted something that you couldn't have. When you wanted something you couldn't have, you decided to fucking take it. And not only did you break my friendship, you broke my trust as a brother. As one of my best friends in the entire world. 
But not only did you throw away our friendship of many years, you took the one girl that I actually cared about. The one girl I actually wanted to be with. You know, me being with somebody wasn't good enough for you. You had to go and take what you couldn't have. And what I don't understand is why. Why did you have to go and do it? I never once would have done that to you at all. If you and some uh, and you and some hot chick were together, I would have been super fucking proud for you. I would have fucking supported you. The entire time I would have supported you. I would have never crossed the line like you did. And believe it or not, Andrea, I do try to talk to you, but I don't know why the messages are not going through. I don't understand. So if you can message me, that would be amazing. Or if you want, what I'll do is I will actually send you, I'll actually post, and this is for anybody that does want to text me. What I will do is I will send, I will actually post in the comments my texting number, my Google Voice texting number, so you guys can text me whenever you want. And yes, I will answer. Um. All right, there you guys go. Now, if anybody does want to text me, the number in the in the comments, you guys can text me at any time, day or night. Literally, 24-7, I will answer that number. And if I do answer from another number, it's because I'm on my other Google Voice account which is like my main one where I keep in contact with family and stuff. But either way, text that number and you guys can get a hold of me anytime. But, you know, it just, you know, I've been holding in, you know, I've been holding in all this anger all this hatred, all this being pissed off for three plus years because of what you did to me, Eric. You don't know how badly it hurt to sit there and not only watch you destroy my friendship with you and destroy what we had as brothers, but to sit there and manipulate and take the girl that I loved that I've known since my freshman year of high school. The one girl I was actually happy with. That I actually wanted to spend the rest of my life with. For you to go and do that. Do you have any idea how devastating it was to watch me take her from me? Do you have any idea? How many nights I have laid in bed and cried myself to sleep because of what you've done to me. Because of the pain and the suffering that you've caused me over the years. Do you have any idea how hard it is for me to swallow and watch you and her be together all over social media? Do you have any idea how fucking disturbing and sickening that is to me? I see it not only on Facebook, I see it on Instagram, I see it on Twitter, I see it everywhere. And you think I'm okay with that? You were sitting there in front of the entire world. You're literally sitting there in front of the entire world and mocking me and making me out to be the bad guy when I'm not. The one who the who is the bad guy though is you, Eric. You're the one that stabbed me in the back. You're the one that took the girl that I loved away from me. You're the one that destroyed our friendship and betrayed me and betrayed our family. Do you have any idea how hard it's been for me to move on since then?
it's been super hard letting go and moving on, knowing that you're all over social media making me out to be a bad guy because of what you did to me. And you think that's right? You think that's fair? You think that's funny? You think this is a joke? To you, it might be a joke. But to me, it's not. It's not funny and it's not fair, nor is it right. And, you know, even if I were to, for some ungodly reason, do what you did to me, to you, I wouldn't go there and boast about it all over fucking social media. I would keep that to myself and I would keep that private. But I'm never, ever going to be like you. Honestly, I don't know anybody in the right mind that would want to be you because of what you've done to me. You destroyed our friendship. You took the girl that I loved. And you've been sitting there forcing me to view it all over social media. And you think that's fair? You think that's right? You know, what I don't understand is why can't you just let your jealousy go and be happy for me and her? I don't understand. Yeah, three years ago, and yeah, I should have moved on. But it's kind of hard to move on when your best or your so-called best friend or now your former best friend is posting it all over social media for the entire world to see. You think that what you did to me was right, Eric Leroux? What you did is fucked up, vile, cruel, and wrong on every fucking level. And you know what? I got something for that. Me and my good friend Christian James, aka Boy Blue, shout out to Boy Blue, what's up, man? Me and him actually did something. And fair warning, ignore the God diss when my good friend Christian James actually wrote this song after speaking about what he did. He was in a, he was super pissed. So Eric, this song is for you, you motherfucking piece of shit. This is How to Tie a Noose. I should have done this a long time ago, motherfucker. Yo, sick team, my cool best friend was now it's dead. Then, 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 something looked in my head. Then, 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 too fucking much. I can't even drink without losing my clutch, without losing my shit, without losing my grip. They ain't gonna wanna punch, girl. Losing my shit. The blame that I'm this, the race like this. I was betrayed the money here, so I was made like this. Then the day the bills being made like this. Then the day the bottom being in chain like shit. Then the day the get up, I just grab my shit. Then the day 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 the day
I'm running out, guns are running out, so I'm going to try to drag you down, I'm going to walk quickly, if I'm going to try to drag you down, you down with me, I'm going to take a friend, we're sending it down with me, when the fuck we're doing, I'm going to get so empty, because we're going to get some friends, I'm going to have money, I'm going to get some friends, 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 I'm going to get some I'm gonna be the one who likes hanging loose I'll be the fucking nightmare Sleeping in the truth The guilt that you feel The truth that you abuse I wanna be the reason for the sleep that you lose I wanna be the one that's left hanging loose I'll be the fucking nightmare Sleeping in the truth And the daddy kicks in And it's all on you I wanna be the reason for you how to tie in you No 23 The other one's within the shit It's all on you man And I'm not getting into it No time to move on Put it down and shit so you find out she which is another lying bitch Don't stick me, don't go back the same Don't know if you know person, but I got two to blame Don't talk to shit, run back to one of your best mates The drug can let you feel, and we're fucking left to say Fuck it, this is great for you, good to be close to you Don't get a kid, fuck it, you can even name blue Don't go to fuck with all the two dogs do And you're gonna come through and you what you put me through Don't go for me now, I know it's gonna be the worst I would have killed you inside the nose the night had a first so if you're a dog come you can have my fucking scraps because I'm gonna think right now that I'm more than done with that no longer no longer no longer rock and roll and lies you're gonna try and tell me how to fucking live and write you're gonna go to weed don't worry about the ball don't worry about the way there's only strong and wild and soft I'm gonna make a million like a nose and what you feel is wrong then I'll be known that I've never trusted you all along because what you want to do you've always wanted what I've got guess what I'm always gonna be sorry that you're not Cause you can even tie not Yeah, you didn't write me You lost a fuck man, write me Fucking old man, I lost my fucking mind man But I refuse to be a victim there you go, there's a little man We were friends, we were friends since we were kids But I never knew that you were even alone like this No, you didn't gain, I'll show you what no is No, you never know, no, to fuck long like this I'll be the one that's left hanging loose I'll be the fucking nightmare sleeping in the truth Can we go that you feel for the trust that you abuse I wanna be the reason for the sleep that you lose I wanna be the one that's left hanging loose I'll be the fucking nightmare sleeping in the truth When the daddy kicks in and it's all on news I wanna be the one to show you how to tie a noose I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna tell you worse I'll be the fucking nightmare, sick of the truth The guilt that you feel, the trust that you abuse I wanna be the leader for the sleep that you lose I wanna be the one I will be the one that's left hanging loose I'll be the fucking nightmare sleeping in the truth But it's then to feel But it drops that you will I want to be the reason for the sleep that you lose I will be the one that's left hanging loose I'll be the fucking nightmare sleeping in the truth But it's then it kicks in It's all on news I want to be the one to show you how to tie a news And this next one was written around the same time. This is Broken Trust. Shout out to Boy Blue. I see you, bro. What you up, dude, man? We all win, see in prison, tell yourself you're fine You don't get time and time again, you know you're not alone Don't be your friends, but you know you can go No one can hit all his hands on a woman Because there's your hands, that's not even his fault Because there's no great joke, to the way that's cold Because there's no great joke, 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 there's
spit laying in agony. So you get tail turning into a tragedy. So you don't know what it is now, what you're afraid of. So you don't try to learn to train to escape from it. So you don't tend to pick them off, keep on the way. The love is never meant to leave bruises on your face. But in front of trust, can be added to the list. The love does this a man, he's quick for honey, honey, spits. The end of the day, they enjoy the weak prey on the vulnerable. The river burning in the river, the questions only holding you. The river burning in the river, the river burning in the river, the river burning in the river. But I want to dedicate this song right here to not only everything that I've been through, but I want to dedicate this song to everyone out there who's been hurt. The same fucking way that I have. This is Hope You're Happy by my good buddy Cryptic Wisdom, aka David G. All I wanted was a smile, all I wanted was a kiss, all I wanted was to know that you would know that you were this. I wanted any more than the rest of the share, for the best of you, but I don't really think that it was fair for you to keep me like a puppet on the string, man, you think it is something new to say. I want to love him, but it's better if I don't take a listen to the letter that she wrote, and it goes, ah, I know it's been a long time now, and part of you is itching to talk to me just to find out how I'm doing, who I'm seeing, who I'm fucking, but it's not and you're concerned because seemingly you're something of a bug so just say a little fancy and some generosity for me to use a pick and place in my life but never in my heart because i love it when you're broken in the setting of the dark spit it out and tell me why you want to see me i'm petitioning for a reason because i'm trying to make it easier for you yeah i've been seeing someone new that is better and more clever than you ever could have so it's reality so pick your battles for your laws in a complex story with a chance that it'll cost you a lot because the freaking thing is to start go walk alone bring it apart see all i wanted was a life with you i never knew you were so cruel, I'm sorry. I hope you're happy with the choice you made. I was afraid to let you fade. I'm sorry. What up? I know you didn't want to hear from me, but there's a mirror of body you. It's apparent to be worthless. Take a purpose and it keeps saying you can have shit back forever. We'll breathe, hey. Fuck opinion, it's a matter of fact. So, matter of fact, you better pick a happy path to get off mine. And in due time, you might see that no one's ever gonna be loving you better, right? Right for the picking, I'm picking it apart, but you're swimming in the sand of emotion, and I'm a shark. I'm finna fight back. You think you really know me, but it's He's never alone and don't just tell me what you're patching And I needed you to pity me So don't pity me for a second Then I'm in that vicinity They say the remedy So I never hold a grudge When I'm stuck in my position Yo, and never will I budge See, all I wanted was a life with you I never knew You were so cruel I'm sorry I hope you're happy with the choice you made I was afraid to let you fade, I'm sorry Love me, hate me, fuck me, break me, judge me, take me as I am Faithful, have me, soothe me, smack me, soothe me, I'll have we can soon Little fool, love me, hate me, fuck me, break me, judge me, take me as I am faithful. He have me, soothe me, smack me, soothe me, I'll have we can soon every last little cool thing, cool thing. See, all I wanted was a life with you, I never knew, you were so cruel, I'm sorry, I hope you're happy with the choice you made, I was afraid. 
to let you fade in. I'm sorry. I want you to know, Eric, that those songs were for you and what you did to me and how you fucked with me. You picked me apart. You destroyed me. You belittled me. And this song is my retaliation to everything that you put me through and everyone that has ever torn me down since then. won't be a victim anymore. Is there anybody out there? 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 Is there anybody out there
So to everyone out there who is Eric LaRue or is like Eric LaRue, I tell you this. Every single one of you sick, motherfucking, disgusting assholes can go fuck yourselves. Because I will not be a victim anymore. Not of this and not of anything. The bullying stops. The hatred stops. The making fun of me, that shit stops. Because like I told you, Eric, what you did was wrong, man. When you betrayed my trust, when you betrayed my family, and every single person out there who has betrayed me, you guys are done. I'm not going to be a victim to you guys anymore. I'm tired of fucking hiding the shit that I should have been talking about a long time ago. So to anybody out there who's going through the same shit and going through everything that I went through, I want you guys to know that you're not alone. I got your backs, and every single person here in the comments has got your backs as well. Every single one of us are here for you, and I'm here for every single one of you as well. So if you are going through the same stuff that I've gone through and do still go through on a daily basis, don't be afraid to reach out and say something. Don't be afraid to reach out to me or somebody that I know. One of us is going to be here to help you. I love every single one of you guys and every single one of you that has stuck by me over the years. Thank you to every single fucking one of you. You guys are fucking amazing. Everyone from fucking Sean Sands, my motherfucking brother right down here, to my brother Eric Scrubwell, to my newly found brothers, Brendan Wright and Ian Ducksworth. Fucking love every single one of you guys, even right down to motherfucking Aiden Schroeder. Every single one of you guys, new and old, means the fucking world to me. So to anybody out there going through the shit that I'm going through, you guys ain't alone. I got your backs, and so does everyone here. And I hope you guys now know the truth about what really went on that day and what transpired over the years and what made me the way that I am today and how hard of a fight that I've been fighting to escape all this. I love every single one of you guys. And I'm glad that you guys now know the truth about something I should have spoken about a long time ago. But with that being said, I love you guys and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.